in this video, we are making a home automation project to control four AC appliances and also to control speed of one AC fan using Rainmaker mobile application that is available for both Android and iOS, using Google Voice Assistant, using Alexa smart speaker, and also using the manual switches and manual fan regulator that works without internet as well for absolutely free. And the best part is, if you don't know programming and coding, well, you can still purchase our complete home automation project, scan the QR code that comes along with the project, install it, and you're good to go to make your home and office a smart home and smart office without having any knowledge of coding. Isn't this amazing? Well, in my opinion, this is the best home automation project video that ever existed on YouTube. So if you're starting the video, if you're seeing this enthusiastic person for the very first time, well, consider subscribing our channel because this person comes with a lot of electronics, IoT and automation related project tutorials on this channel every week. Well, that being said, let's just start with this video. Before starting the video, let me tell you one really interesting and useful feature of our sponsor LTM which is a PCB designer based software company and that feature is called as design review. Using LTM, you can add any member to your project and after that, they can highlight any fault in the schematic or can report availability of components in the inventory on the PCB to your designer so that they can visualize this component and can work upon it to provide a smooth flow of PCB production even if they both are in any corner of the world. So that's the design review feature and even you can try out this and many other features of LTM for free by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description as you'll be getting an access to free trial version using that link. Now let's start with our video. Okay, so going back to the video. So starting with the hardware part then, for making this project, we will need these all components whose list and links you can easily find in the article whose link is attached in the description of this video. And after getting all the components, you need to connect them all according to this schematic diagram. Now, of course, this project do have a lot of connection in it. So we designed our own custom PCB for it and gave its order directly to JLC PCB. Now when you can order your own custom designed PCBs from JLC PCB by following very simple steps. You just need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB project, select the number of PCBs and color masking and just pay for your order. And if you select the fastest delivery option, you may get the PCBs delivered at your doorstep within a week. So try ordering your own custom designed PCBs from JLC PCB to make your project looks neat and more compact. After getting our PCBs, we started shouldering all the components on it and in the end, our complete project looks like this. Neat and very compact. Now for the manual fan regulator knob, we got this rotary switches online and connected wires with it along with the string tubes to make it more durable. So that's the complete hardware of our project. And even you can get this complete project with all the components already shouldered on the PCB along with the ESP32 which will be fully programmed and ready to be used. And not only that, you'll also be getting a user manual along with the project that will cover how to connect the appliances with the project, how to use it with the Rainmaker application and also it will cover the solution of some common problems. So just click the link mentioned in the description and go get your all-in-one home automation project for you to make your home and office a smart home and smart office. Now let's jump onto the code part. So yeah, here is the code that we have used for our all-in-one home automation project using Rainmaker. So I won't be going in each and every line of the code uh, as I already explained the terminologies and the code for Rainmaker in my previous video. So do watch it out. So here I'll already let you know what changes I made as compared to the previous code. Okay. So first of all, I changed the service name and pro, uh, that password you can say for BLE communication. Okay. You don't need to change it if you want, you can, but leave it as it is. After that here, uh, uh, in the previous one, I have just added the switch device but this time i also added a fan device because we also dimming uh, the ac fan here okay and fans device is already available inside the rainmaker so i added that fan and after that i also used the ace button library because we also want to control it with the manual switches and manual fan regulator right so i use those kind of uh, those library as well Straight after that, there's nothing much change in the call. If I, if I go into the callback part, then here is that callback part. And for switch, it is pretty normal. If the power is uh, 
on or one we need to turn on the relay if the power is zero we need to turn off the relay for the fan we have a different uh, scenario uh we are receiving the power in the range of zero to four so if the power is zero we are uh, you know turning the fan at speed zero that means turning it off if the power is one we are turning at speed one speed two speed three and speed four so these all speeds i have set based upon the power i'm receiving from the fan widget okay or fan device you can say straight after that uh what i had did here is i have added a custom parameter to set the level now what happens is in the uh, actual fan device that comes with the rainmaker it has a value ranging from 0 to 100 okay so it's like 0 percent to 100 percent but i want to map it to only 0 to 4 because i have that four speed uh, controller only so what i did i created a, my own custom device and set the value from 0 to 4 at an interval of value 1 so this line will uh, do the task for me it will be adding a slider from 0 to 4 only so that kind of change i did here and rest of everything is pretty much the same in the core uh, also there is one more change i have added this wi-fi polling function so what happens whenever the project get disconnected this function will be like this if condition will be polling the wi-fi if it is connected if it is connected if it is connected so next time whenever the net comes up whenever the router turns on it will automatically connect to the router and talk to the internet and if it fails to talk to the internet no problem we have this button check functions that will be responsible for turning on and off the appliances using the manual switches and manual fan regulator and this logic is again common just to reset all these settings inside the esp32 board if you want to change the wi-fi credentials what you need to do is you just need to press and hold the boot button of our ESP32 board for more than five seconds and it will be factory reset and, and you can start entering the credentials once again. So that's it about the coding part. That are the important steps I need to cover in the code. Now I'll upload this code onto the ESP32 board and let's move ahead with this video. So that was the code of the project. Now let's move ahead and see how to use it. Well, it's pretty straightforward. Once you upload the code on the serial monitor, you'll get one link which you need to copy and just paste it in your web browser, which will give you a QR code in return. Now for all of those who have already purchased our project, well, you'll get that QR code already printed inside the documentation, which you can scan using the Rainmaker app. Now talking about the Rainmaker app, then it is available for both Android and iOS, whose link you can easily find in the description. After downloading, just log in with your Google account and after that, just click on add device. Scan the QR code shown on the screen. Now, After a couple of seconds, it will ask to pair our phone with the device. After successfully pairing, now we can enter our router's Wi-Fi credentials and just click on the provision button. This will send those credentials to our ESP32 board. And after a couple of seconds, the device will be successfully added. Now after confirming that everything is properly configured, now we are good to go to install this project in our switchboard. Now be very careful while playing with the mains voltage. I'll suggest you to turn off the main switch before opening the switchboard. So after opening the switchboard, just disconnect all the wires and after that make the connection of the appliances, switches and our project according to this connection diagram. Now, if you're still in confusion about how to do all the connection, well, I'll recommend you to call your electricians for doing the wiring. After doing the wiring successfully, just close the switchboard, power up the mains, and now let's test our project in action. As you can see, we are able to control the appliances using the Rainmaker application and also able to control the speed of the fan using the slider. Amazing! Now let's try with the manual switches. Perfect! We are able to control the appliances and also getting its real-time feedback on the Rainmaker app. Now let's test this in offline mode. As you can see, on the app it says that the project is offline but still, I am able to control the appliances using the manual switches and the manual fan regulator. Well, that's the great convenience feature that we have. And if you turn on the router, it will automatically get connected to the internet and it will be back online. So that's how you can easily control the appliances using the Rainmaker app and the manual switches. Now let's just move ahead and see how to control all those appliances with the help of Alexa and Google Assistant. So now to integrate Alexa with our Rainmaker, you just need to go into the settings icon and after that just click on voice services. Here just click on Amazon Alexa and here just click on link with Amazon Alexa. 
Now it will ask to log in with our Amazon account. So I'm already logged in with my Amazon account. So it is asking me if I need to allow the Rainmaker or not. I'll click on the allow button and probably it will add it. Okay, it will be asking me for the Rainmaker credentials. So I'll quickly enter the Rainmaker credential or rather I will log in with my Google account only. And that's it. We have successfully linked Amazon Alexa with our Rainmaker application. And now we can control the appliances easily using Alexa. Now let us see how to do it for the Google Assistant as well. So for linking it with Google Assistant, you need to download the app called as Google Home. Uh, here, just click on this plus icon and click on set up a device. Here, click on works with Google. Now here, just search for the Rainmaker uh, service. Here's the ESP Rainmaker, I'll select it. And probably it will also ask me to log in with the credentials of Rainmaker. Okay, I need to log in here as well. So I'll sign it with my Google account only. And perfect, ESP Rainmaker is linked with the Google Assistant and Google Home as well. So yeah, that was all about integrating Google Assistant and Alexa with Rainmaker. Alexa, turn on light 4. Okay. Alexa, turn off light 4. Okay. Turn on light 4. Alright, turning the light 4 on. Turn off light 4. So that was the all-in-one home automation project made using Rainmaker which has a lot of features built in that comes for absolutely free. That was the project. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. This was the most demanded project of this time. So I hope it was up to the mark, right? And also you can purchase this project from our website. It's pretty uh, easy, straightforward. Just click the link mentioned in the description. It will take to our website. Just purchase that product, you'll be getting all the components all the shouldered on it with the ESP32 already programmed on it, uh, programmed with the Rainmaker. It's, and you also get a documentation, so scan the QR code and use it straight away. So yeah, that was it about this video. I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoyed it. If it's so, do click the like button and tell YouTube algorithm that this video was really worth watching. Do tell the YouTube algorithm about it. So it's 9 in the clock. So today, 16th July, Saturday, 9 p.m. I'm ending this shoot here. And tomorrow, Sunday, early morning, 3, 4, 5 a.m. This video will hopefully go live. So I have a very short time to edit. But yeah, I'm just ending this video here. And now, just wait for my next one. Then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.